Hello, beautiful. Wolf cuts are out and butterfly cuts are in. Maybe they can coexist. They're both really cute and they're both really fresh. And it's too soon to let the wolf cut go. That haircut is way too entertaining. They're more or less a very similar haircut, but the butterfly cut is an adaptation to the wolf cut, right? It's a little more escalated, a little more elevated. Today, I'll be teaching you how to do the butterfly cut. So basically, this haircut is going to give you a lot of face framing layers. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be boom like this, boom like this. Stunning. We love layers. It is the vibe. It is the moment and it is going to stay the moment for a while. You are going to have a lot of layering in the back as well whereas the wolf cut really maintains those layers in the front area and then it does get a bit more shaggy in the back. This one is a little bit more even. Just tiny little details that have been changed. It's gonna look like this and like this. Gorgeous. Let's do it. Hello, hello, Miss Manny Quinn. You look stunning today. And guess what? It is your lucky mother day, bitch. Um, you are getting a cute haircut. I know, it doesn't happen that often where you guys get to not get something bad done to your hair. Today, you're the chosen one. How do you feel about that? Great. Anyways, so what you're gonna need in order to do this little butterfly cut project, baby, is a few things. The first thing is wet hair. Yes, that means you watching, trying to do this haircut, you also need to wet your hair. You are not exempt from that rule. Is the microphone on me? Uh, hello? Wet your hair. Because I already know so many of you are going to watch this and then not wet your hair. If you wet your hair, it's going to help make the haircut more precise. It's going to be easier for you. You're going to actually be able to cut through your hair without it being a huge annoying issue. Like I see all the time in these videos where people try the stuff I tell them to do and they don't do it right and then they don't listen to my directions and then everything comes out wrong and then I feel bad and everything is bad. Um, sorry. Our hair's wet. Great. Awesome, guys. We're doing good so far. Now, obviously, we're going to comb this shit out. Beautiful. This supplies you're gonna need a comb why am i using a white one on a white wall it's not very good for this but i also don't feel like getting another one so we're gonna use this today this one is great see how it has big teeth and little teeth it helps you cut hair easier you can section with these teeth and you can comb with these teeth well they both comb but you know what i mean scissors Hair cutting scissors would be best. Just get something that'll actually cut your hair. Two of these, you probably have these, hopefully. You're gonna use both of them, that's great, awesome. Optional moment, it's an optional moment. If you wanna overachieve in this haircut and you have very thick hair, thinning shears are a friend. When you're doing a layered look and you're only doing two really quick cuts, these babies, are essential. You can get those cheaply too somewhere. I don't know, do your research. Do I look like a researcher to you? No, I'm a hair cutterer. Do you wanna see how to do the haircut now? I'm, I'm doing it, okay, hold on. We are going to comb all the hair forward from the apex. So gorgeous, easy. If you don't know what the apex is, it's the highest point of your head. And you can find it if you just lay something flat on the top and you see where it touches. So I'm gonna comb all of that forward from there. This doesn't need to be perfect. You know, obviously take your time with it, babe. Don't rush it. But you're doing great so far. And I'm just really proud of you. Her head is turned this way towards me. That's her nose. We're going to go from the apex to behind the ear. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. That's right. And that, ladies and gents, and and everything in between. That is our first section. Oh, your hair is very soft, this man. What have you been doing? We got that all good. All pulled tight, looking fabulous. And I am going to use my small teeth on the comb and I'm going to make this all nice and flat to the head. I'm pulling everything now to the middle of the brows. You do want to look like a unicorn. That is when you know you've done this section correctly. Make that as flat as possible, as straight as possible. Take our elastic. What a little ponytail in there, babes. Now, as you can see, this is already very similar to the wolf cut, except the wolf cut, if you remember how to do that one correctly, because nobody really knows how to do it correctly, you just pull all the hair into one up here. This one is a bit more, this one is less. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it that way. And then on the back, get ready. Flex your arms, you gotta do some push ups before you do this, because you gotta lift the hair right up. Grab the hair and we're gonna do a really high pony right to the apex. The highest point of the head. If there's one thing you ever learn from me, it is the word apex. Actually, I don't want that to be the only thing you learn from me. That's kind of lame. I want you to be able to be the best hairdresser for yourself ever. 
That's my goal for you. Throw that hair tie in there, girl. We are already on step three. We are rolling and moving and grooving and it is going fast. That is our sectioning, baby girl. This is what you should look like. Half unicorn, half pony. Kind of vibing with it. All right, we're ready to cut. I need you to do a little meditation for me before you do this. <laughs> a little breathe in. Breathe out and a little bit of like concentration needs to be involved with this. Just like don't mess it up, okay? And hopefully your hair is still wet. And if it isn't, grab a spray bottle or something. I don't know. Figure it out. Now, what we aren't gonna do when we start cutting is go like this and cut. We did put this at an angle on purpose. And we want to cut in that same angle, continuing that line. Not like this. That's very important. Are you listening? Now, with the wolf cut and with the butterfly cut, it is so essential that you take enough hair off. I do see so many times where people but we'll just give themselves a trim with these like this. That's not enough hair. This is not going to be visible when you let it down. What you have to do is you have to cut off a significant amount of hair to see this haircut really come to life. But I do want you to work your way up. This sectioning is super easy. You can start off small. You can cut off two inches at a time and work your way up. You definitely don't need to do the whole boom, nine, 10 inches off at once. So do experiment with it. Do not do it all at once. And don't tell anybody that I told you to do it if it looks terrible. Yeah, don't do that. Just, we'll just, Let's keep it between us. All right, but she is going to get a significant amount of hair off because she wants it. I'm going to cut off this much more. All right, that's like two, three inches. Oh yeah, baby. The first cut has been accomplished. We did it. We did that together. And you, you slayed. Next, we are going to try to cut off the same amount of hair. Instead of going all the way up, we are going to bring this one a little bit forward. And this one, I am going to cut off the same amount of hair. So about four inches. You can use your fingers to measure hair, by the way. Two fingers is on average about an inch. So I'm going to try and cut off about four inches off of this top while directing it forward like this. You can't see anything. Kenya. We did the cut. Congratulations. It is that easy. All right. And then we're going to let this down and we're going to see what's going on. If I don't like it, we can do more. You know, I will show you in real time if I don't like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is enough layering for me. <laughs> you will see how much more dramatic, in my opinion, this cut is than the wolf cut. Do you see how short? You don't see anything, do you? Well, you will see it when I'm dry, but her layers go up to about here. It is very much textured. It is giving life to her hair. Okay, now let's take this front section out. Let's let this go and let's see those face trimming layers. Ooh, look at this. That's what we want. Parting in the middle or wherever you part your hair. Let's get that in there. Fierce, fierce, fierce. This haircut gives you a lot of face ring layers. Now let's just connect the dots here. All right, this is the last and final step. See how this in the front is a bit shorter than the layering in the back. And we have this kind of like, whoosh. we're just gonna subtly Get rid of that on an angle. Just connecting it. Don't do too much, please. Just do a little. Boom, stop, stop cutting. Now we are connected. Some of you may already be connected. Like this is very subtly, like it is actually connected, but I just wanna smooth that transition out a little bit more from the front to the back of our hair. We're obviously gonna put in some force field heat shield to style our hair, to protect our hair from any kind of heat damage. And it'll make her style last forever while she's in the closet. Okay, and then we're gonna put in some salty sea salt spray because this is just my go-to when I want gorgeous, glamorous texture and volume and sexiness. Yes, I use this for blowouts, not just to scrunch the hair, but if you do wanna wear your hair natural, ooh, salty is that bitch, including also wave tech, but salty, like, girl. She looks hot. I'm gonna blow dry this in today to get such a glamorous blowout with texture and volume and sexiness all around because a hair, well, I'm getting really into, I'm getting really into this. With a haircut like this, you need that volume, that texture, that life, that body in the hair. Or else it's just not gonna come alive. Let's see if I can do a middle part today. Yeah. What do we think? Middle part? Good enough. We're gonna do a quick little halo section because that is how I love to blow dry these looks. Just makes everything so much easier. Boom, took me two seconds. Bang, gorgeous. Oh, 
girl, she looks fine as hell. The look is almost complete, but let's top it off with some Viper Smoothing Oil, just because like who doesn't love? a ton of shine in their hair. And this just adds that perfect amount of like, oh, hydration. Without making it oily and weighed down. I'm just gonna scrunch that in there. Oh my God, I can't even handle the amount of volume and texture and body she has. And look at this face framing. Oh, damn. Honestly, wow. New favorite haircut? Most definitely. Now, if you have extremely thick hair and it is looking a little bit chunky in parts, you can definitely take some thinning shears and I like to just kind of look at where the chunkiness is. She doesn't have a lot of it, but if it was chunky, I would just go in there and about two inches up from the ends, just thin it out. This helps blend anything that isn't blended. Like if we see a part that looks a little bit too like uh, blocky, we're going to go in there and just get rid of some bulk. This is also a nice thing to do to these like face trimming layers because it makes it even more wispy and gorgeous. It really just depends what the look is that you're going for. I am gonna keep her really bold and big though like cause I just think her face really suits this look. This is the final look. I could not be more obsessed. So as you can see with the butterfly cut, you're getting this extreme amount of layering in the front. And if you blow dry this all inwards, you would get like even more than what you're seeing right now. But look at this, like, ooh, hot. And it really holds the shape of a blowout. And in the back, you're going to see all of that body and that movement and these shorter layers up on the top. You're getting that extreme amount of layering. You're getting that face framing in the front. You're keeping that length intact. I just can't stop touching it. I, I'm obsessed. This style I know is going to be huge. Thank you, Miss Maniquin, you're dismissed. So that is how you do the butterfly cut. I cannot wait to see you guys try this on your own hair. And if you end up trying it, I would love for you to record a video and show me. It is so much more exciting watching you do this than me doing this here in the studio. Like I want to see your creations and who knows, you might just be in a hair just reacts for better or for worse. If you want to check out any of the products used in today's video, they are all linked below for you. You can also check out all of my products, my hair color and my hair care products at xmodohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.